favourite Glenn Savile Olympic moment, which is the back-to-back -back possessions where you've guarded Kobe and LeBron. I want you to talk us through those two possessions because I was watching in sh sheer amazement. Well, I'm pretty sure. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? I'm pretty sure they scored. Back to back, back to back possessions. Yeah, one was I think I was guarding Kobe, and he kind of he was probably about uh, you know a meter or two outside the three point line. I was obviously thinking he was going to put the ball on the floor, and he just pulled the trigger and drained that, drained that three there, and was at the very next possession. Then LeBron came down. He just ran at me like a freight train, kind of bumped up against him, and he threw up some flying crap doodle. It was a very lucky shot outside the keyway. I just managed to go in, but um, yeah, it wasn't a great possession. You were not letting them great, in the key. Um, it wasn't a great, uh, great defense, to tell you the truth. You refused to get him in the key. I didn't let him in the key, but you know, I made him shoot a tough shot at the end of the day. Because once they get in there, they're pretty hard to stop. Once they get in the key, it's pretty much the keyway. Nice. The athleticism is far too, too uh, good for the uh, Aussies. It's very difficult to compete with that kind of athleticism, particularly as a 32-year-old Glenn Savile. <laughs> uh, probably a 19-year-old Glenn Savile would struggle to would struggle with that kind of athleticism, to tell you the truth. During the Olympics, and then just every time Sav gets drunk and pulls out, he's oh, this is embarrassing. This is Kevy's shot when he, uh, you know, who's that? Dwayne Wade, I'm shooting over or whatever. Remember the time I shot over this? That's a that's another favourite moment at all. Yeah. Does, does Sav kind of uh, throw, throw extra swagger around during the Olympics now that he's Olympian? He's kind of strut around like back in my day. Every, it's always back in his day now. Now it's just like, oh, you know, when I was at the Olympics, I remember, I just, I just, you know, crossed up D-Wade once or whatever. No, 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 the photo is showing that he is actually throwing you out the way as he's doing a layup. That's the photo that you've got evidence of. No, so he's, you know, I noticed he does wear all his Australian stuff, the weights and, yeah. Now do you ask Sav about when he played against the USA team? Do you you saying, well, I was going for the USA and, you know, we, we touched you up a bit there. Well, it's a little embarrassing when we talk about the Olympics and because I turn into a little kid, you know, you're all excited. Even, it doesn't really matter if it's American or Australian. I'm all excited about just watching people compete at that level. But then you watch it with Sav and you say, oh, that'd be sweet, you know. And then, of course, he comes out with his own story and you're kind of like, oh, yeah, you are an Olympian. I forgot, you know. So it's one of those things. But, you know, he comes out with the stories every now and again. He's, uh, you know, his Olympic swagger. He likes to throws weight around as an Olympian, he does, doesn't he? He does. He's got, he's got the right to, you know. I've been to two Olympics, played against a dream team that was pretty stacked, you know, with those guys that were there and they've come back again. You know, LeBron, Camilla Anthony. So, you know, you've got to give him the respect for that because that's a hell of an effort. I like that um, Sav really got into the Americans when he played them. Got to, got to get into D-Wade a little bit. That made me happy.